because of financial circumstances, uh, coast to coast, states are facing huge and deep budget crunches. One option to get out from underneath all of the trouble, raise taxes on the rich. But would that work? Well, Minnesota is one of the states facing this huge decision, and Governor Tim Pawlenty is our guest right now to weigh in on the whole situation. Good morning to you, Governor. Good morning, Gretchen. Now, we were just talking political talk in the break, and you were telling me that in Minnesota, there's sort of a unique situation where you as governor have more than a line item veto when uh, people within the government there want to raise taxes. You have something called an unallotment. What is that, and are you going to use it? Well, the simple way to look at it is once the legislature has passed bills and they're signed into law, a governor can veto it at that time, but it, this is, can take place if conditions warrant for the governor to unilaterally by himself or herself shave down the spending to get the budget back in balance. So it's even beyond veto. It's somewhat unique to Minnesota. Most states don't have a mechanism right. like that. Some do. And, and I do intend to use it. The legislature went home for the year, thank goodness. And instead <laughs> of calling them back to have a summer long fight about the budget, I'm going to take the steps, uh, as conditions warrant to shave down the budget to get it back in balance. Well, your state governor is one of the states that is proposing to soak the rich. Uh, also, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, and Minnesota as well. You know, we were talking a couple of days ago about the fact that uh, some researchers have looked at this, and in states that have indeed raised taxes on the wealthiest people, Sometimes they leave, ultimately it fails, and the, the, the uh, huge tax burden winds up going down and, and trickling down to the middle class, and they wind up getting soaked. Well, keep in mind that in Minnesota, we're already one of the most highly taxed states in the country. Unfortunately, we've made some progress on getting, making it better, but we're still a high tax state. And it, when you put taxes up on the high income tax bracket in Minnesota, it kicks in right now at about $65,000, $70,000 for an individual. Mm -hmm. And so if you increase that bracket, that's not exactly taxing, you know, millionaires. Then beyond that, that most small businesses pay their taxes on their individual returns because of the way that they're organized. So when you raise income taxes, you're also raising taxes on all small business. And very lastly, if you rank order every every state in the nation from the best job growth to the worst job growth from 2003 to the economic collapse of 2008, what you'll find is a positive correlation between those places that have lower taxes and lower right. spending and job growth, not the inverse. Yeah, and I know that you were looking for creative ways to try and cut down on spending, like teaming up with neighboring state Wisconsin and such, and maybe that should be a good example for other states. Unfortunately, we got to run, Governor. I wanted to ask you about Norm Coleman, but we'll get to that before that decision happens June 1st. Thanks for joining us this morning. Okay, thank you. All right. Straight ahead, she 